YouTube, quick update onto my timeline today in relation to these documents here. Now, I'm going to show you those and talk you through those a little bit more in a minute. Both of these forms relate to being a target individual, person of interest, and specifically to the Intrusive Surveillance and Property Interference Regulation Act of 2000. So this is probably the best weapon you can have along with your evidence that you've obviously got of surveillance, hacking, stalking, harassment, etc, etc. Now this is from the Investigatory Powers Tribunal. You have to send them a letter and they will reply with a few forms. So these forms actually give you the power to make a complaint about the apparent investigation, even though it's specifically surveillance. The complaint is quite detailed. It allows you to sort of state a variety of evidence, a variety of human rights that you will have fallen victim to in the time you're a TI or a a POI. It gives you the chance to make a complaint and hopefully go to some kind of tribunal hearing with your evidence with a solicitor. I'm not haven't looked into it too much at the moment because I've I've not long got these forms and I'm filling them in and posting them away. But the most interesting part of this is actually question nine. So once you filled in what's happened, who do you think's involved, what evidence have you got, dates, times, etc, etc. Question 9 is actually, if the tribunal holds up your claim, what remedies do you seek? So there may be some kind of action for compensation, maybe an apology, even though it's highly unlikely. But obviously that might draw a cease to the current activities that that have been happening to yourself. So I'd recommend anyone write into the Investigatory Powers Tribunal address, which you can find on their website. But the interesting thing at the moment is this should not substitute any court action. So when you've gained your evidence and when you've gained your timeline and verified opinion etc etc keep this as as a backup obviously write to them try and get try and get a hearing at first but then what i'm going to do is look into the actual results that they can provide and what what future recommendations they can make if that's not to your liking there's nothing to stop you going to court so I'm going to I'm going to come away from these forms a minute and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the website I want to create. Now for the just under 10,000 views, 10,000 people, 10,000 views that have watched my account over the past 2 years now, or maybe a little bit more. I'm going to be making a website which will have all the information you will need from start to finish on how to be the most successful TI person of interest that you can be, how not to fall for the for the tricks and sort of states of mind that they may or may not be able to put you in. So yeah, I would like to open this opportunity up to anyone who's watched my account who could possibly provide some kind of website content it would be much appreciated and i want to make this a community for people who are put under surveillance i'm going to offer services provide equipment you know would not 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 for my own benefit this is sort of a as i say a community kind of action to stop these kind of intrusive acts hacking your laptop you know key logging every word that you say in on your emails, messing with your properties, electrics, and, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, 
the website will be published on my website perhaps in the next couple of days if it's something that I could perhaps get a rough a rough website built in in two or three hours it's going to have links to legal advice it's going to have links to surveillance process equipment psychology of the actual gang stalking program the different stages that you will go through such as the sound tactics etc etc so yeah that's covered pretty much everything i wanted to talk about today this will be a very interesting response purely based on the evidence i've got i know that i can walk into court and successfully prosecute intelligence intelligence authorities whether that's the police nca etc etc for intrusive surveillance and property interference gang stalking is the hardest to prove remember that gang stalking is the hardest to prove because at the end of the day you're just videoing people in public without them making specific gestures or without having to actually trace individuals maybe surveillance individuals you're not going to more than likely you're not going to be able to prove gang stalking in itself so hopefully with my help you'll be able to evidence all the surveillance that happens to yourself i'm working with a few people now who are involved in the network of private investigation you know and i'll be able to hopefully help individuals out it doesn't matter if you haven't got a lot of a lot of money available or it doesn't matter about your situation if you're being intrusively harassed through surveillance and, and all these kind of things then i'm here to help so yeah any questions please do get in touch i'll keep you updated i'll be posting my website on youtube hopefully in the next two three four days depends on how how quick i get the content together and actually find a, a website tool that allows me to make the best website possible so yep yeah, all right that's everything for today youtube please keep the comments in welcome to my new subscribers and yeah please do get in touch if you do comment my videos i will comment you back i'm going to put my email address and my phone number up again if you want to discuss that further, if you need any immediate help or validation of any evidence that you've got, then I will probably be your cheapest and, and most professional, honest person to contact. So, all right, over and out for today. Thanks, YouTube.